guys, welcome back to my channel. You seem to enjoy my last best of drugstore when I mentioned my favorite lipsticks from the drugstore. So I thought, why not do another drugstore related video? So this time I thought I would focus on a brand from the drugstore that I really like and mention my top favorite products from that line. So if you guys want to find out what my favorite products are and what the brand is, just keep watching. So my favorite drugstore brand that I'm going to be talking about today is Milani and I have a lot of products sitting right here in front of me to go over, some of which I'm actually wearing on my face today and I'm really excited to get started so let's get into it. So the first product that I'm wearing on my face today is actually the Milani Runway Lashes Mascara, the one with the yellow top. This thing is so amazing. I only need one coat and literally my lashes are lengthened. They're volumized and they're just so amazing. They add such a dramatic flair. One coat, guys, that's it. I actually took a picture, so I'll insert that now so you can see what it looks like with one coat on one eye and nothing on the other. And it's definitely a dramatic difference. I love this mascara. Affordable from the drugstore, it's definitely my top three, along with L'Oreal Maybelline. The next two products are blushes. I have a matte blush and then I have a more shimmery, kind of glowy blush. This one's from their Bay Collection and I actually mentioned it in my top five drugstore blushes. It's called Coralina, and it's this baked coral color that has a lot of shimmer to it. I actually wore it today as a blush topper. It's just such a fun, beautiful color. You can wear it by itself, of course, but I chose today to layer it, and I love this color. I think it's my favorite of their baked blushes. And then what I have underneath is this one that they just released, I believe, last summer from their matte collection. It's called Romantic Rose. I love the name, and I'm such a sucker for packaging because this rose detailing is gorgeous. I love it. This is a matte mauve kind of shade. This is great for every day. This would suit pretty much any skin tone. Very easy to blend and very easy to build. It's not intense. It's just the right amount of pigmentation. And I love the fact that the rose detail lasts and lasts. It doesn't matter how much product you picked up that rose will remain in there forever. Then the next product that I have has to do with eye makeup, but before we get into the eyeshadows, I thought we would talk about the most important product you need, which is the eyeshadow primer. I'll admit that often when I'm in a hurry, I will use my under eye concealer and blend it up onto my lids, and that works and creates a wonderful eyeshadow priming base. But when you're actually on the market and actually in need of an eyeshadow primer, I recommend this one if you're on a budget or you're looking for one from a drugstore. This is the best by far that I have tried. This Milani one works so well and it lasts forever. I feel like this little bottle will take you through a year if not longer. It's very comparable to the consistency of Benefit's Professional, which is a face primer, and then Benefit's Stay Don't Stray, which is a cream-based eyeshadow primer that has an Adofa applicator, kind of a wand applicator. This just comes out of a squeezy tube, but a little bit definitely goes a long way, and I feel like this lasts in me forever. And it definitely does cover up any veins you may have on your lids. It creates a nice, tacky consistency on your lid so that eyeshadow can easily glide and adhere all day long. It lasts forever. It really does keep your eyeshadows working for you pretty much the whole day. Great, great pick from the drugstore if you're looking for an eyeshadow primer. So the first eyeshadows I want to talk about with you are the Milani Fierce Foil Eyeshine Eyeshadow Clouds. They come with four colors. This one is in number, if I can open it, this one is in number one Milan. And I love how you get your shiny kind of bright highlighting colors here. You have a light pink and an iridescent yellow, great for highlighting the brow bone or the inner tear duct. Then you have this gorgeous golden bronzy color, great for deepening that outer V or in the crease. And then this gorgeous taupey color would be beautiful not only in the crease but all over the lid. So with this little quad I feel like you can take it with you traveling, you have everything you need. I've actually used it in a Get Ready With Me video in the past and I've definitely mentioned these eyeshadows in a previous favorites video as well. These are fantastic, they're affordable. I would only recommend that you apply these shadows with your fingers because the pigmentation will be just that much better. With a brush I don't feel like it picks up as much product. And then the next two eyeshadows are from their single eyeshadow collections that were released I believe last summer. The first one is called Bella White, which is exactly what it sounds like, just a basic white eyeshadow. But these are so creamy, so easy to blend, and so comfortable to use. These are great for beginners with eyeshadows. I love this to highlight under my brow bone and the inner tear duct. When I need a white to brighten, this is my go-to. I love this so much, I have a backup. And again, it's Bella White, gorgeous eyeshadow. And then I have Bella Chiffon, which is more of a yellow iridescent kind of light golden color. It's great, again, for highlighting under the brow bone, great for highlighting in that inner tear duct, and guess what else? It's awesome for highlighting the tops of your cheekbones. As an actual highlight, this is, this is holy grail. Drugstore highlight, favorite. I actually wore this the other day. I went into Bath & Body Works, and the girl at the checkout line said that my highlight looked so nice. What was it? And I actually had to sit there and think for a second, what makeup was I wearing that day? 
and I said, oh yeah, I actually use the Milani eyeshadows as a highlight. And I told her how you can find Milani at Walgreens and what the color was. And she sounded really excited, so I think she went and picked it up. But definitely a great eyeshadow, but even more so as a highlight. And then one of the first products I picked up from Milani last summer when I really got back into the brand was this Brow Fix Brow Kit. When I first got into learning how to shape and create an eyebrow, I was... A disaster. I would use eyeliners to pencil and create my eyeshadow to fill in the hairs to create the shape and I ended up looking like Groucho Marx because my eyebrows were so severe, so strong. You do not use black eyeliner as a brow pencil. Just a word of advice. So if you don't know who Groucho Marx is, definitely google it, but I ended up learning and mastering the art of a brow pencil by way of Anastasia Beverly Hills and now thanks to NYX creating a drugstore friendly priced alternative, I use that one a lot as well. And even ELF offers a brow pencils now too. So they work well because they're very thin, they help to shape your brow but they're not severe in color pigmentation or even in the width of the product. And they do have a waxy finish which does help to hold your hairs in place and keep that shape all day long but it's definitely a good idea to add a brow powder on top because that's really what's gonna help extend the wear of your brow pencil and keep that brow hair in place. It just sets it just the way a face powder would set your foundation, brow powder is gonna set your brow pencils. So I highly recommend the one from Milani. I also love the one from e.l.f., but because this is a Milani video, I'm happy to say that they have one as well. Milani actually recently released their first liquid lipsticks. I'm so excited to finally have these in my hand. I thought I would share my favorite color today. I do have about six or seven more. This one is in the shade number one, Crush, and it's this gorgeous deep wine burgundy color. Such a beautiful color. I think this would be a great transitioning color into fall and winter. These are the best liquid lipsticks I have found from the drugstore. I have not found many from the drugstore, but these do not cake up. These do not dry your lips, they do not crumble. You can eat a greasy, cheesy cheeseburger and still have liquid lipstick all over your lips and look flawless. These are amazing, and the price point even better. I think they're $6.99, $5.99. You can find these at Walgreens. They're exclusive to Walgreens right now. They are really hard to find, but I think that the Milani website is carrying them now as well, and I highly recommend this one called Crush. Move into some lip products. The first color I have is called Flamingo Pose, which is this vibrant, vibrant, hot pink fun color. I'm actually wearing it on my lips right now. I love this color. This is the kind of color you can wear when you don't want to wear makeup, but you don't want to look dead. Just put this on your lips. Gorgeous color. I love it. These are so creamy, long wearing, comfortable. I don't feel like I'm wearing any lipstick right now, but my lips feel soothed. I love the formulation of these lipsticks. And they all smell like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. If you like the smell of watermelon, you'll love these lipsticks. The next color I have is more of a fall friendly color. It's called Black Cherry and it's this deep wine purpley color. It veers more on a cranberry red with a little bit of purple to it, but it's not like a pure purple, which I don't tend to like. You'll see when I swatch this what I mean. It's more of a deepened kind of reddish purple, if that makes sense. Gorgeous color. When I wear this, people always think I'm wearing MAC, but nope, it's Milani. Then I have a beautiful nude for you nude lovers out there. This one is called Teddy Bear. I love this color. It's not your typical peachy, washed out, kind of light pink color. It's more of a taupey, slightly brown. So it's definitely a neutral nude. And if you're looking for that kind of a nude color, I highly recommend this. It's called Teddy Bear, B-A-R-E. It's a gorgeous color. I've actually worn this color on my fashion vlog a couple of times because it's a great go-to neutral, but you don't feel like you don't have color in your lips, which I like about this. Because a lot of times when you wear a nude lipstick, it looks like you're not wearing anything. Not with this one. I feel like it does add a little bit of color and it's really pretty. So I'll try to scrounge up a close-up shot of me wearing this lipstick too. And then the last color is called Sangria. And this is more of a plummy purple, but it definitely has a little bit of redness to it. You cannot tell that in the tube. Again, when you're looking at lipsticks, it's always worth it to try because you never know how it's going to look on you. Everybody has different pigmentations to their lip color. So depending on what color your lips are naturally, mixing it with a lipstick will always be different than the tube. So it never hurts to try that tester out. And this color is gorgeous. Great for the fall and winter time. So I thought I would include it. And again, it's called Sangria. And then last but not least, I have a bunch of nail polishes that I love from them. It was hard for me to narrow it down, so I actually narrowed it down to nine. Some neutrals, some reds, which are my favorite, and then a couple of fun bright colors before summer ends I thought I would recommend. So the first neutral color is called Spotlight White, and I love it because it's such a fun, striking pop of white. I love this on my toes. This is a great color year-round. If you are looking for a crisp, clean, bright, bright white, 
Spotlight White's your friend. Because this one's amazing. I've tried ones from OPI, Essie, nothing compares to this white. It is just in your face. I love it. The next neutral color that I have is called Bronze. And this one comes with a pearlized finish. I love this because it has sort of like a mauve tint to it. And I definitely mentioned this in my top 10 mauve polishes video because it has that mauve look to it and I really like it. So if you're in the market for something that's kind of foiled, a little bit pearlized, but has a little bit of that mauve purpleness to it. But then again, the best part, it's also a neutral. So it's a great color. Then I have two fun top coat colors. These are shimmery glittery ones. This one's Silver Glitter Flex and it's called Rainbow Prisms. It reflects as if you were wearing rainbows on your nails. I wouldn't suggest wearing this as an only nail polish color because they might flake off easier, but it's great as a statement nail or just to accent, you know, on top of part of your nail. And then this one is called Gilded Rocks and it's like a peachy gold paint color. Beautiful again as a statement nail. I love this one. As far as fun summer colors, I have this gorgeous pearlized kind of frosty lilac-y color and it's called Lovely Amethyst. Really, really pretty. I love how it's frosty. I don't really like frosty lipsticks, but I do like frosty nail polishes because I think they're different. They add kind of like a special sheen to your fingertips. Then next up we have a purple that I love because it's not a dark purple, it's not a light purple, but it's definitely like an in-between creamy kind of purple. It's hard to describe. Gorgeous color. I love this one and it's called Imperial Purple. And then I have a fun blue color. This is called Mint Crush. I love this. This is the mintiest, prettiest blue eggshell baby Tiffany blue color I could ever find. I have tons of blue polishes, but this by far has to be my favorite one. And it looks very, it almost looks very tame in the bottle, very light. But once you put it on your fingers, I promise you it's a little bit more vibrant, almost a little bit more neon. Really gorgeous color. And what I really love about the Milani nail polishes is that they are fast drying. They're very easy to apply. They're not gloopy. They just have a really great formulation. They dry quickly. They don't chip. And I don't know. I just really love their polishes. I found them to wear very well. And they do have a vibrancy to them, which I like. And the last two colors are reds. So I have a true red, which is kind of like your ketchupy bright red. This one is called Modern Rouge. And then I have my favorite red of all, Iconic Red, which is a darker, deeper red, kind of like a vampire red, almost like a wine red. I love this color. This looks great in the fall and winter when you're getting pale. It just adds this nice oomph of color to your fingertips. I also love dark reds like this on my lips. So that's it for my best of Milani. I hope you guys enjoyed this drugstore video. If you want to see more videos like this, just give this one a thumbs up. I'd be happy to film it for you. Just let me know what you want to see in the comment box below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.